It's me, Ripper the Clown, the unpredictable cartoon character. Come live from Ripper the Clown Show on YouTube.com. And the first Pop Goes the Culture comedy show at Vintage Villains was a resounding success. Tickets sold out. It was standing room only. And in the interim, we've been deluged with emails and calls asking about the next show. Well, I'm proud to announce that comedy will be returning to the Vintage Villain stage on April 18th with Pop Goes the Culture 2. Doors open at 7 p.m. Show starts at 8 p.m. Tickets are available at Vintage Villains for only 8 bucks. And you better get your seats reserved early, because they're going to go quick. And those of you who are expecting another unpredictable and quirky commercial for this installment of Pop Goes a Culture, you're wrong. It's not going to happen. I, you know what? I've been in major demand since that sellout show, and my apologies, but I just don't have time to do another elaborate commercial. So this one will be short and sweet. This edition of Pop Goes a Culture will feature an eclectic mix of this area's best comedians. The roster is stacked and packed. And you know what? Everyone's going to be sad to learn. That musician and comedian Jim Bay Jake recently moved downstate, but due to his loyalty to Ripper the Clown and Vintage Villains, everyone will be happy to learn that the phenom Jim Bay Jake will be trekking back to Danville to perform on April 18th. Our show at Vintage Villains sold out. Jealous when you'll sit and pout. I get in the face of Vladimir Putin. Speaking of Russia, my drummer looks like grass people. Aaron Martin will be making his Pop Goes a Culture comedy debut on April 18th. Aaron is the co-host of the Broke Ass Podcast Network on YouTube.com and the star of Park Rangers that airs every Friday night through early Saturday morning on Urbana UPTV Channel 6. You know, I've worked with Aaron before and actually I, <clears throat> I, I broke into his house one time. I am so happy that my dear friend and talented comedian Charlie Hester will be returning to the Vintage Villain stage. She's been in demand too, especially after recently returning from Boston where she worked with Jonathan Katz. But never underestimate the powers of Ripper the Clown. I was able to secure Charlie's appearance after publicly bribing her with $3 and a bottle of Sleepy Creek wine. After a brief hiatus from the comedy circuit, Shauna Blakeney will be making her triumphant return to the stage at Pop Goes a Culture 2. Shauna is an amazing comedian. I've worked with her countless times. She's an asset to the comedy scene. And a couple years ago on Halloween, she arrested me, Chris Hightower, and Alan Lewis. And to this day, I still question her authority to do so. But anyway, speaking of Alan Lewis... Hey, Alan, it's Ripper the Clown. How you doing, man? Hey, Ripper, I'm good. Hey, you know what, guy? We're doing another show at Vintage Villains. The first one sold out. You were there. You were an important part of that show, and I want you on the next show. It's April 18th. What do you think? Oh, uh, hold on. Let me check my schedule. Okay. Oh, sorry, Ripper. I'm booked for the next two years. Two years? Seriously? Yeah. I mean, you're talented enough to be booked for the next two years, but I mean, you can't you can't squeak in April 18th for your old buddy Ripper the Clown. Sorry. Okay, man. Well, hey, hey, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for the success. I'm happy that you got booked for two years, and, and I trust you. But I, let me tell you something, man. If I find out you're fibbing to me, there are going to be some funky repercussions. Okay. Okay, man. All right. <laughs> See you soon. Later. See you soon, man. See you soon. And headlining Pop Goes a Culture 2 will be comedian extraordinaire Rich Wentz. Rich has performed throughout Illinois and California, and I'm proud and honored that Rich will be gracing the Vintage Villain stage for the very first time on April 18th. I've done a lot of shows with Rich over the years, as evidenced by this photo from the Laugh Factory that hasn't been doctored in any way, shape, or form. You know what? There's a reason why Rich is headlining, folks. He's freaking hilarious, and he's freaking amazing. And you know what? It's also hard telling who's not going to appear at Pop Goes a Culture 2. Dear Dick Van Dyke, would you like to appear at my comedy show at Vintage Villains in downtown Danville, your hometown? Can I tell people you're coming, even if you're not? Love, Ripper the Clown. P.S. Ask your brother Jerry to come, too. And Ripper the Clown asks that you visit and support the sponsors who are making Pop Goes a Culture 2 at Vintage Villains a reality. First, the Barbershop, located at 807 North State Street in Westville. They're an old-school barbershop with a new-school flair. Come see Joe, John, and Jerry Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 6, and Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday from 9 to 1. Ripper the Clown's grandpa loves going to the barbershop. It's the only place he'll go for his haircut. Walk-ins are always welcome, and haircuts are only 12 bucks. 
we all know that having computer problems can be extremely frustrating and a major pain, especially when you need trustworthy and reliable service. Whenever R the C has a computer problem, I immediately call my friend Richard Woodard from Woodard Computing Services at 446-2765. Wooders offers fast, friendly service along with network setup and configuration, wireless setup, virus removal, and support and repair. And trust me, I only trust my computer to Woodards. Visit them online, WoodardsComputing.com. Hey Chuck, you want me to do your show? When is it, April 25th? Yeah, yeah, great, I can do that. I got nothing going on. Great, thanks. Bye. So, Alan, you're booked for two years, eh? Okay, I'll do your show. Even if you don't have children, Kids Closet is one of the coolest places downtown Danville and the only store of its kind in East Central Illinois. Located at 35 North Vermillion, Kids Closet buys, sells, and trades toys, clothes, movies, and accessories. Many of Ripper the Clown's props and videos came from Kids Closet. Come visit Jody and Dan Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and explore inside the vastness and miles and miles of merchandise at Kids Closet. Visit Custom Smoke located at 123 North Vermillion, downtown Danville from 10 to 6 Monday through Saturday and noon to 5 on Sundays for all your e-cigarette, vapor supply, and accessory needs. Custom Smoke stocks all the latest and current vape equipment. It's the only vapor lounge in Vermillion County, complete with retro arcade games, and the only shop stocking premium juice. Chris and the guys at Custom Smoke really know how to blow smoke, and rumor has it that Custom Smoke will be on hand at Pop Goes a Culture 2 for vape tricks and demonstrations. Nope, Rich Wentz is headlining. Am I getting paid? Maybe. Okay, fine, but I'm taking Stewie. Thank you. I'll see you on the 18th, Alan. <coughs> Dick Van Dyke may not be and probably won't be appearing at Pop Goes a Culture 2 at Vintage Villains on April 18th.